Hey everybody, welcome back to Doom. So, we got a room here. A room that has Armor Man down in the center. It's a secret? Huh. Okay. Sacrificial pits. No. Probably items or something in there. I have the secret sense thing, so. was nothing. Oh, hi. and bobs of extra armor. So, yeah, that looks like a boss arena. Alright, so the last trial and one thing are this way. Lazarus wave at full charge, ready for activation. This hell wave will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Cadinger Sanctum for this reason. I know she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks. And I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. Little juice. Yeah, right, there we go. First, Wait, what was that? Fuck off.
God damn, I'm gonna keep fucking pushing myself through the goddamn wall doing that. Anyway. And BFG core. And what do we have here? Armed with the gauze cannon and using only the resource blah blah blah, kill everything for time. Health levels are critical and targets do not drop shit. Hmm. Well. I guess it depends on what they give me. That might be good for, what was it, the uh, Ultra Nightmare, or whatever that final mode is, where you only get one life to complete the entire game. Okay. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect.
motherfucker. Okay, yeah, that was my fault. Hmm. Get my little fuckers. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, I have, an, I have uranium buckshot. using the uh, using the super shotgun is in your possession. We will pull you out. Oh boy. Uh, 
Ah, all right. <clears throat> oh wait, monster, cyber demon, boom. During the cyber demon reanimation process, the beast was kept alive by controlling the amount of plasmatic argent energy it received. This kept the beast in an effectively brain-dead state, while additional components were cybernetically implanted. A neural pathway was created between the creature's brain and the argent accumulator, allowing the creature to administer argent power to any part of its body as needed. In hindsight, its neural pathway, this neural pathway was a mistake, as once the pathway was activated, the dormant beast immediately administered an argent surge to the medulla oblongata, which allowed it to restore motor function. Once active, the circulatory system quickly restored the beast and the beast achieved full motor function within a few minutes. It is only through the bravery of Follower Jacobson that the beast was contained. Follower Jacobson willingly gave his own life as bait when he lured the giant cyberdeem to holding pill si pen 6 where it could be contained. Unfortunately, there was no way to re retrieve Jacobson once the doors had been bolted and he, he was sacrificed. A report following the incident suggested that this act was not instinct by the cyber demon, but rather a suggestion of a greater intelligence governing the will of the, any creature demon born a mastermind of sorts. Research on this theory continues. Ah, fuck. They have a cave troll. Wait, what else is there? Oh. Fellow disciple, this message has been sent to you in recognition of your service to Lazarus. Oh, wait. Oh, we never got the first bit for Lazarus Labs. Lazarus Labs is a subdivision of the Advanced Research Complex. It is only accessible with the highest clearance levels located deep underground to prevent infiltration or exfiltration. The Lazarus Labs are home to the longest serving and most dedicated UAC staff. Information regarding the Lazarus Project is hard to come by as its members are highly secretive and well disciplined. What is known is that any cross-dimensional anomalies, entities, or artifacts are immediately sent to the Lazarus Labs for research, and are never seen again. However, prim promotion to the Lazarus Project is considered a badge of honor among U U the UAC staff, despite not knowing exactly what their work will entail. Because they're idiots. Okay, so, alright, we missed one secret, but we got all the other stuff. The fuck is that over there? Hmm. Hmm. Um. Oh, hey, I got three BFG charges now. Take a fucking tic tac. God damn. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, what? Ah, crap. Round two! 
Wait! Uh-oh. Consider the most significant marker of success in the development of Argent Organic Research. The Cyber Demon is a flagship creation of the Lazarus Project. The symbiotic union of Balgar Demon, found during the second Project Lazarus manned expedition, and an Argent Accumulator. This beast is capable of withstanding so much punishment that the creature must be kept in permanent suspended animation. Repeated attempts to subdue the beast prove unsuccessful, as when exhausted, the Cyber Demon simply replenishes its life force from the accumulator and attacks again with greater ferocity. Only by removing the Argent implant can the beast be restrained. The Cyber Demon remains in stasis until a suitable method of control can be found. Ah, okay, we are here. Oh, hey, there was another BFG thingy. What the hell? Was there like an arcade machine somewhere that I missed? I don't know. Titan's Realm. In the libraries of the Lazarus Labs, you learned of an artifact that can sever the connection between our two worlds known as the Crucible. If you can retrieve the Crucible, you can use it to close the well and shut off the Argent Tower permanently from inside hell. Oh, it was a big old hand there, and then I looked down, and it's like, oh, there's a, a th big old skull there, too. No, hey, space to continue. Reclaim the Crucible. One Argent Cell, one Field Drone, and two Elite Guards. Oh, I actually have all the thingies. Oh, this is the one that increases the value. Oh, value of ammo received. Oh. Oh, BFG ammo. Fuck! Wish I would have looked at that sooner. Eh, whatever. So then. Oh, balls. The age of his reckoning was uncounted. The scribes carved his name deep in the tablets of hell across eons. And each battle etched terror in the hearts of the demons. As he always will to feast on the blood of the wicked, for he alone could draw strength from his fallen foes, and ever his power grew swift and unrelenting. 
fucking caco demons. Never mind, there's a... Maybe the ammo one would come in. Oh, what are the challenges? <clears throat> Kill a lost soul with another lost soul. Perform death from love glory on Baron from Hell. Kill 20 demons using power-ups. I don't really think I need those at this point, though. Hmm. Mm -mm. I don't know, maybe... Maybe more... Oh, hey, cool. Mm. Mm. Don't really hot swap mods out. Eh. Take immunity to ex explosive barrels. Uh, back in the old, ye old doom, you occasionally would see, uh, little pedestals with beating hearts on them. That's cool. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys later. Adios.